Hello. <clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Jordy. And passenger. How's everyone doing today? This important announcement. <laughs> it's Friday. Amazing. Good morning, Atsugi. Oh, thanks for the host uh, master 777 captain jetlag good morning matthias good morning welcome oh it's friday it's finally friday yes <clears throat> i have a meeting tonight with uh, hollywood again Hopefully it'll be fine. Going in the right directions for sure. Captain Jetlag, the sun is out. Indeed it is. It's, it's, all the snow is melting over here as well, by the way. So it's, it's just cold at the moment. Rather than freezing. <laughs> Alright. Um, how about we get this ball rolling with some topics? Ah, coffee. Oh yeah, that was good. A good brew. Diesel punk nymphomaniac. That's that. That, that reminded me of. Uh, there's this uh, sexual deviation, um, where they they have sexual desires for inanimate objects like a fence. <laughs> Or a car, or Eiffel Tower. There's documentaries about it. It's, it's a really um, eye-opening, I guess you could ex explain it as. Uh, this is this this woman who's married to the fence, and uh, she likes to now and then just go and sit on the fence and <laughs> conjugate. Uh, super weird. They're really interesting documentaries. Um, all right, we got some topics. Uh, good morning, dear Bart. And Ereda Schmeiz. Schmeiz! Um, I think there's already six topics. And look, I hacked. I hacked the image. Not really hacked, but uh, the image slideshow function. So now, look, are you ready? Are you ready? Check it. No. Why? One second. Okay, let's see if it works now. All right. Look, you see? Ah, ah, ah. Number four. Woohoo! And it is. I'll, I'll prove it. It's, it's randomized. Look, it's not. It's not the setup, right? Please don't be number four. Oh no, it was number four. Please don't be number four. What the? F And I was like, no, it's not fake. It's not. Now it's number four there. For fuck's sake. Okay. 
it worked yesterday night. Like, you see? No, it's number six. Hopefully, it won't be number six again. Hi, uh, you see? Now it works. Now it works as it should. Let's see. It's not rigged. You see? Okay, now is now that it's working. Let's let's do the topic, right? So, are you ready? Let's see what what number is it today? Number three. All right. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three. Fantasy Armorsmith by Kuru. Oh, it's Kuru again. Obviously rigged. Obviously rigged. Uh, Fantasy Armorsmith by Kuru. <laughs> there, Bart. Yeah. Number four is my house is number four. Uh, it was uh, Fantasy Armor Smith. Fantasy Armor Smith. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> um, Fantasy Armor Smith. Okay, for some reason, my mind went to a snake human, or a snake monster, that is an armor smith. So that's, that's the direction I'm going to go. So let's see. Where, where that leads. Got some itch, itch in my eye. Um, I want to have a I want to have a tally of all the each person how many times they had topics, but the rec that requires me to go back through all the images or all the streams rather, but that shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Hassle. I think I'll I'll, I'll do that some some evening. I think that will be a cool little um, list. Mikhail, you have the same haircut, the same uh, hand grenade haircut, like if someone threw a hand grenade into the room and just, <laughs> and then that is the result, yeah. I am sorry then, <laughs> I feel for you, just as much as I feel for, for me, it's the top of my head, so you can enjoy all, all the splendor that is my haircut. <laughs> Let's 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 give him. I mean, a snake with arms is kind of weird. Uh, obviously, it's it doesn't want to function in my head. But um, let's um, let's give him like a hammer. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, passenger. Exactly. I think I think that explains a lot why why people throw money at me as well, or give me the stink eye when they see me. It's like, Ugh, who is that homeless person? Especially when I had a long beard, it was like ad additionally homeless looking. Uh, funny story. I was uh, walking home from uh, dropping my kids off school. Well, it's not f funny, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's an exaggeration. But um, a thought I had um, that, like, I was walking home and uh, some uh, girls passed me. They were maybe like eighteen or or, or so, very young. Obviously, I'm probably twice their age um, and uh, and I was thinking like they're they're pretty cute but then I realized like from the outside I am way older than them but in my mind it's not really changed from 20 something 
and I came to the conclusion it's like it has to be like an onion and uh, your your um, your journey in life right so each layer of the onion can either compress a lot and almost be non-existent or 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 kind of withstand the pressure and become a part of the onion and I think depending on how you live your life, different parts of the, the layers of the onion, onion gets compressed and new experiences and new behaviors are added on top from the outside in, right? So the core of you is, is that essential that never really goes away. Uh, and I, I, I kind of started to think about that, like that's a pretty good analogy of, 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 of personality and behavior and like how how much you hang on to certain things and, 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 and how, how that is. So I, I kind of enjoyed that, but I also laughed a bit at myself, like thinking that those young girls were cute. I mean, they were cute, but they were young girls. And, uh, and I laughed at it that, um, that I, in my mind, I am still, you know, like the, um, the young guy, but uh, I mean, on paper, I'm almost 40. Which is, you know, it's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you start talking to someone younger, you, you noticed. I mean, that's what I was saying, saying about the onion kind of with layers compressing together and, and, and some can stand and some can kind of be crushed together. I mean, looking back at myself, how I was when I was 20, I am still the same person. Like, basically, but I'm definitely, if I would meet the 20 year old me, that was 16 years ago, you know, I would probably just think I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but I am essentially the same person, even though I'm, I'm probably refined or, or uh, not, depending on, uh, you know. Kuru. <laughs> Their bard, <laughs> yeah, that is good. Uh, <laughs> like mid sentence, you realize, like, oh no, you're that old guy lecturing the young guys. You're like, ah, oh. <laughs> yep. That's that. That that's this. That's fun. <laughs> but that's true, though. Um, Dennis, to some degree, I mean, it de all depends on the people as well, obviously, like um, a 30 year old can be, you can get the impression that they're super old or super young, the same, you know, it's hard to really, uh, um, define age but there's a point like when it becomes painfully obvious that you're not young anymore <laughs> <They're bored. laughs> and I was thinking about um, a while back about uh, finding certain women attractive like now I'm 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 36. Um, I a lot of times I find the the like the very young girls, they they can look interesting, like attractive, but not like not sexually the same way. Like I I find my for example the age of and 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 body of my wife, like I find her to be like the the perfect woman right the, she's curvy mature like she's five years younger than me 
uh, but still, you know, she's she's not the twenty year old. And I find her body type, like the an actual woman's body type now, a lot more uh, attractive than just a young girl. Uh, and I think where where men, I was thinking about that a lot. Uh, like I was seeing uh, an old man, like dating a, a a young woman, and I was thinking like there's some something off when they need to find their uh, their um, like feeling appreciated or sexually attracted to someone that's significantly younger i think genetically like or, or hormonally when you age you age with uh, your attraction group ages with you right so that when you're an old man you're gonna find old women attractive and not young girls um, and I think there's some fundamental problem where when that gap is too big and you have to question the like what's the reasoning for the attraction and that goes like into a horrible uh, can easily kind of go to a horrible place you know, too young. But there's some some weird something's off in in the way they need to find gratification. You know, like why isn't the natural connection there? In that sense. Dear Bart. <laughs> yeah. Nereida, <laughs> that's 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 a good thing though. Like that that apprentice aspect of society, I think, is missing a lot. Jordy, oh dude, beef jerky. That probably was a a quite horrible comparison. I mean, if a snake would have a hands, they wouldn't have hands like humans, right? Most likely, their hands would be more of like a laser, I'm guessing. Yeah, but that was an interesting uh, off-topic thing. But yeah, I, I, I often think about that, like, um, a funny little, uh, another f little side note, like my, uh, when I go to stores and, and things like that, interact with people, like I, I tend to be very polite and, and, you know, maintain eye contact and all these things. Like I, I like to uh, interact with humans properly. Like if I talk to someone, I, I engage, right? Um, and that in, the, in return, because I'm just friendly and, 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 and uh, like intuitive and all these things, uh, like I, I engage with the people I interact with. Um, a lot of girls hit on me and, um, and they flirt. And of course, I, I, you know, I don't like hit on them back or, or, or anything. I'm just polite, you know, politely interacting, continuing interacting. Um, my wife absolutely hates it. <laughs> she always says like, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go and murder her. Like, anyways, but I am, I'm always thinking like, that's, that's weird. Like the, the, the girls that kind of flirt and so on. They are, they are definitely younger, which is which is interesting to see. I mean, obviously, women like older men, 
but it's an interesting thing to 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 like notice and think about. It's odd. <laughs> Passenger, yeah. This this thing called outside. Uh, Nareda, right. <laughs> yeah. They haven't asked me for ID for a long time. Uh, Schmaze. I think I will have whiskey, definitely. Or or um possibly beer. We'll see. But uh, whiskey feels uh, f whiskey feels like it's a good option. Aggressive, yeah. It's different different times. I found the photos of myself like in the twenties the other day. It's funny. Fun to see. Such baby face. <laughs> Wet socks, Jordi. What are you talking about? Wet socks. That's a bit weird. What do you mean wet socks? Steak and wet socks. I don't get it. Must be some code word. Just like Pizza Gate. That uh that reminds me. Um if anyone follows Joe Rogan, his podcast. He's on number 911. Um, and he, for his guest for episode 911, 911, he has uh, Alex Jones on. And they talk about uh, conspiracy theories and Pizzagate and all these things. Um, I just started listening to it this morning. Really interesting. Uh, so if you, you you're into that, um, have a Google. It's on uh, on you on YouTube. Um, really interesting uh, topic and their discussions. Yeah, Joe Rogan is a. Uh, he thinks the correct way, like uh, critical thinking, questions things, and just doesn't accept fa uh, information as facts. The correct way to think. And I, I'd like to think that uh, I am in the same way, thinking about things in the same way. Uh, and, and, and before taking in information as truth, um, you're always open, it's still open for uh, to listening to the information, but always have to question it, but to still have an open mind. It's an interesting uh, podcast. I say <clears throat> I was listening to maybe half an hour so far, and the reason why it, I, it came to my mind is because uh, um, I mentioned Pizzagate with Jordi's code code message there about wet socks and whiskey. Um, yeah, so I, 
I made that jump. I did not like that. I think it has to be a little bit more like this. So he needs a um, snake, he needs to um, have like obviously hanging cloth, all smiths have cloth, <laughs> a dirty rag. What mere attributes, <laughs> what mere, what else, though I'm like half English Swedified it, stupid brain. What else does um? Um, blacksmith use. They ha have their hammer. They have. Uh, oh yeah, he needs. Um, he needs uh, pliers. Bigger pliers. I mean, obviously, a blacksmith has a have a beard. <laughs> but I don't. I doubt snakes have beards. Um, gloves. Yeah, he kind of have gloves on. Maybe I need to fatten, fatten one up so it looks more glove-like. Just to over make it like a statement. What the hell does a blacksmith have? These things. Apron. They wear aprons. So that they don't um, burn themselves, right? They need the thick hide apron to insulate from um, fire. Well, wow, some someone live workshop is uh, hosting me. Thank you, Captain Jetlag, uh, Atsuki. Oh, yeah, Joe Rogan's episode nine one one is with uh, Alex Jones, and uh, <laughs> and they're talking about conspiracy theories. It's good stuff. I wonder if snakes would have piercings. Would that just be stupid? Could a snake have piercings? Is their skin... How does their skin scar? I actually have no idea. I'm trying to visualize a, a snake scar. And all, all I can see is like... Pink... Kind of mince meat like... Damage on the scales of a snake. I have no idea if it's the correct uh, image of what a snake scar looks like. That's something I've got I gotta Google afterwards.
Michal, I was thinking yes and no. <laughs> Non-pigmented area, Jordi, right. Hey, Jordi. A Prince Albert, right? That's true, Michal. Maybe slightly beef up the arms so they just don't look too... too weak sauce. A little bit better. Today, at work, I will be doing weapon designs. It's pretty cool, pretty good fun. I haven't done some in a very long time, so it's going to be cool to do some weapons. <laughs> Schmaze. Yeah, that is true, that is true. No, I mean, even though you breach credi credibility by ha giving a snake arms, um, you still got to question certain things. I mean, obviously, if it's a snake happens to have arms, you got to think about, like, make it as credible as possible with the, the, the information you do do add. I mean, the more you stray away from what a snake actually looks like, the less it'll be a snake. Even though the snake has arms and the blacksmith and is pierced. <laughs> you know? Uh, ozone and Ozone Macuigo. I I'm lead artist at the Opus Arts. It's an outsourcing studio in, uh, in in London. Oh, that's cool. Awesome, Michal. Congratulations. That's great, Michal. Congratulations. I really hope that you do get more um, um, more work. Good job. Hopefully you also get good money for it, so you can uh, move forward, upwards and onwards. About time, my friend.
the deadly hammer snake. <laughs> yeah. It was f fun to sketch today. Good morning, Bill. By the way, nice of you to join at the very end. Right. Time is up. This is what uh, what ended up today. Some sort of, uh, well, obviously a snake. Uh, no, fantasy blacksmith. That was the topic. I think I, uh, I think I, uh, I got the topic right. Obviously, it's a fantasy blacksmith. That's cool, Captain Just Like. I look forward to some environments as well. Um, it would be nice to do. Uh, I'm no stranger to doing environments. I've done a bazillion of them. Um, Been, yeah, flat snake. Michal, oh, thank you. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. It's good enough for as a sketch. <laughs> snake, snake blacksmith uh, is a rarity for sure. ASCII. All right. Thanks everyone for coming. Happy Friday. Uh, I might stream on Saturday. We'll see. Um, otherwise catch you all on Monday and let's see if the dice works it doesn't work it changed oh, why does it do that I don't get it. well it picks a random number but it needs to oh, whatever. have a fantastic day good night and uh, here comes the outro Catch on Discord. Bye.